Let's consider this GCSE UK exam question. Use the grid method to multiply 325 by 12. Three students solved this question. Three of them got the answers right. But only one person actually got a grade for it. Let us see what they did. Student 1 just multiplied 325 by 12 and got the answer. However, did not answer the question. Hence, failed. No grade for it. Next, this is student 2. 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. You write 0 here, then you keep this one. Next, 2 multiplied by 2. You're going to get 4. Add it to this one, and you're going to get 5. I will write 5 here. Next, 2 multiply by 3. 6. You write the 6 here. Next, 1 multiply by 5 is 5. And you write 5 below the 1. Next, 1 multiply by 2. Your answer is 2. And we move a bit and we write 2. Next, 1 multiply by 3. And you got 3. And we write 3 here. Next, we add them up. This 0 will just come down. 5 we add to 5 and you get 10. 0 we go here and we take this one along. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus this one is 9. And we have 9 here. And 3 will just come down. Student 2 equally got the answer. However, just like student 1 failed to follow the instruction and hence got no grade. Let's consider student 3. What did this student do differently? Now, the first thing that student 3 did was to draw a table like this. Secondly, to solve this problem, you must understand nearest 100, nearest 10, and nearest 1 which is nearest whole number. Next, you have to start with the first one, which is 3 to 5. 3 to 5 to the nearest 100 is 300. This 300 will move in here. Now, we are left with 25. Next, the nearest 10 of 25 is 30. However, you are not allowed to modify the question. Hence, I will have 20 and I'm left with 5. I'm going to write the 20 here and the remaining 5 is here. When you add them up, it must give you back whatever you have here. Next, consider 12. 3 to 5 went to the row and 12 is going to the column. Nearest 10 of 12 is 10. Hence, I will write 10 here remaining 2 and I'm going to write the 2 here. Next, 10 multiply by 300. You have 3000. Next, 10 multiply by 20 and you got 200. Next, 10 multiply by 5 and you got 50. Next, 2 multiply by 300 and you got 600. Next, 2 multiply by 20 and you got 40. Next, 2 multiply by 5 and you got 10. Next, you add them in their rows. 3000 plus 200 plus 50 and you got 3250. Next, 600 plus 40 plus 10 and you got 650. Next, 3250 plus 650. Student 3 got the answer and will be awarded the full mark.